Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We are fortunate enough to finally do the beer review for the Founders Brewing Company, Old Curmudgeon's Better Half. It comes in a four pack, it's barrel aged. Um, this, uh, I believe, came out in August of 2018. Um, it's a spin off version of their uh, Old Curmudgeon, which has been around for a while. It's really, really good. It comes out in very limited release, but it is well worth the money. So, what they did was um, very smart of them. They put um, Old Curmudgeon in molasses barrels out of Michigan, uh, syrup barrels, excuse me, not bourbon, syrup barrels. Um, and they aged them in these barrels, and it is absolutely amazing. It is not light. It's 12.7% ABVs. It's considered an, old, uh, Eng an English old ale by definition. Um, let's see what else can I tell you. Um, let's see, ABV, or excuse me, IBUs are 35, um, so what's neat about this is, um, they, this was a really popular, uh, beer back in 2012, and it says, um, the better half has become one of the most highly sought after beers from founders, and there's a good reason, because it's, quote, damn good. Um, they get a little bit into the how smooth it is, the old molasses. Um, this is one of those beers where everything comes together perfectly. Um, they know what they're doing. Uh, these these maple uh, barrels are extremely sweet um, from the inside, and they take a really really good beer like Old Curmudgeon. You throw it in there, and you got a serious. Uh, serious liquid so it's kind of red um, there's a little bit of a head on it um, it's got a little bit of color to it but not much so just like what you would expect there's definitely some lacing in the glass this smells like syrup I mean it smells sweet sugary on some levels um, it's got this um, it smells boozy it should it's 12.7% and it's got, it's interesting, so it almost has this, um, uh, it's, it, uh, it's almost like a caramel sweetness that isn't overly candy-fied, and I just made up that word. So it's just got a really cool aroma to it. It kind of smells like maple syrup and butter and pancakes and all that, but there's definitely some malt in the background, and there's, um, you know, you can tell the Old Curmudgeon's in here. Um, it just has that really good uh, hot balance to it. It smells really, really good. Now, again, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not something you want to drink, you know, all four of these uh, in one night. So there's my disclaimer. But it is a really interesting, different version of a barrel-aged um, beer at this point because everyone's trying to barrel age everything just like they used to put fruit in everything four years ago now it's barrel age so enough of that cheers let's get in the glass it's so this this ranks up for me as high as something like 1050 from oscar blues it's just got a cool mouth feel it, it dissipates really well there's no booziness at all in the in the flavor. It's got this really interesting sweetness, and I don't like sweets. I would rather, I just, I don't enjoy it. But this has got a cool balance to it. The maple syrup is a complement to the beer. It's not overpowering. The beer flavor of Old Curmudgeon, if you've ever had it before on the plain version, clearly stands out. It's just a extremely well done barrel aged beer in what I would consider a rather complicated barrel aging process to do correctly. Founders does it correctly. Um, it's just, you just have to try it. This is one of those, I don't know how to say it any other way. It's awesome. It's on every level. It's a five out of five for us. I would absolutely buy this again. It's well worth the money. It's not an everyday beer, but it is absolutely 100% on the mark for something that is exactly what it's supposed to be, a very well done aged beer.
period, end of discussion. I'm not even going to ask you to leave comments on our YouTube channel because I already know it's awesome. Uh, but if you want to tell me about it, tell me how awesome you think it is, please feel free to do that. We upload all the time. We appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.